In agriculture, for a plowman to be successful in his work, he must concentrate on the work that he started. If he starts to look back, his plow line will become crooked. If that happens, his field will not yield a full harvest. He knows that the only way to look is forward and not be distracted by what he has left behind. How can this link to our Christian life? In Luke 9 verse 62, Jesus said to him, no one, having put his hand to the plough and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Putting our hand to the plough means that we have decided to commit our lives fully to him, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. When God called us out in this world and responded, we must never try and go back to this world. We must keep our eyes on the purpose that is to ultimately see the kingdom of heaven. Jesus looked at what was ahead, the joy that was set before him and endured the cross and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Elijah was raptured because he followed divine instructions to go to Jericho, Jordan and Bethel. Similarly, Elisha obeyed and served Elijah till the very end and received a double portion of the anointing. You see, there are certain blessings Lessons you will not receive and promises that will not be fulfilled until you serve him to the very end. Amen. Let's not let the many pleasures of life, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life make us look back and regret our calling. To look back and crave the things of this world and certain lifestyles we've left in the past will make us half-hearted and eventually lead to our destruction. Jesus said that anyone that puts their hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. That means that the Almighty God requires total and absolute obedience. We must be ready to let go of everything if we're going to follow his will for our lives. It's either we are following him or we are not following him at all because it's them that endure to the end and stay with him to the end that will be saved. Amen. In our service and our walk with God, let's not look back. Remember Lot's wife, she looked back in disobedience with God and became a pillar of salt. Gehazi looked back and became a leper. They must look back and was destroyed. Looking back will destroy you. Looking back will disqualify you. Looking back is not an option. The good news is that when we put our trust in him, he gives us the grace to look forward and not backwards and reach for what is ahead. Philippians 3 verse 13 says, Therefore, let us do our best, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are ahead. God bless you.